Hey, Jordan Ironman here, giving you a little rundown of what's going on in my life. It's Wednesday, November 2nd, 2022. I just got back from eating dinner with my dad. We were doing some fall cleaning. Threw a lot of stuff out. I had too much in here. After that, we donated some of the goods. I had a brand new miniature ironing board. Still in the package, along with some old clothes. So that's now hopefully going to a better place. Because I'm doing nothing to sit in my closet. Ah, so that was nice. Had a nice Italian dinner. I had chicken with vegetables, Caesar salad, drank water, felt good, getting hydrated out onto the town. Ah, eating some good food with my dad. But there's business to attend to. You know, not just working out for the good looks. I'm planning to do this movie. So let's start with that. I was doing research today on uh, the illegal drug trade, because that's part of my story. I'm bringing to uh, the screen a narrative film about the dangers of fentanyl, laced drugs that is. So with that movie, I plan on doing some online funding campaigns, reaching out to people around St. Louis as well. So I'm planning to do that. I'm also planning to reach out to the cast and crew that I've been networking with over the years. It's a tough movie to make because I have no promise of money in return. And the subject matter is pretty brutal. Talking about fentanyl addiction, talking about drug overdose, talking about beat em up, talking about new tech. I'm talking about a lot here, okay? So catch up and keep up because, whoo, I know I'm grabbing on. So be on the lookout for that because I will be doing some online campaigning for some funds to help tell this story. As well as I'm reaching out to cast and crew that I've talked to over the years. And a little secret is we did take some promo pics just the other day. I'm sitting on the computer. I was talking to my buddy. Ooh, man. I can only imagine. Making dreams into reality. More like a nightmare. But hey, I think it's gonna end good. So let's go back to uh, working out. Because if you know me, you know I'm about the gym. I like talking about it, I like going in there, but right there, you wonder, then why isn't he releasing more video of him in the gym? Well, I'm healing up. That last 28 days, I picked up judo, returned to the kickboxing gym, I was even mixing chess in there. I was doing a lot and I just came off that foot injury. Excuse me. Lord knows at the end of this, I was injured myself again. Nothing too dangerous, I don't think, but something I gotta sit out. I am only a man. I will keep fighting the good fight. Cause man, look at these guns. They're not gonna, you know, just stay there. I gotta keep going back to the gym. So I'm healing up, eating good food like I was saying. And then I'm going back into another 28 day challenge. Similar to before, judo, kickboxing, boxing. We're talking chess. To heal up, you gotta do some rest. Chess is the best. The king's sport, king's game. Some people might not think chess is a sport. I question if it is. But at the end of the day, I know 
Benjamin Franklin said that it's the king's game. And he must be onto something. I mean, he's on the $100 bill. So. That's my 28 day challenge. Along with, I forgot the most important part of the gym, my favorite part where I have the most fun. And with that, I have to say this, low reps, high weight, limited sets. I'm talking going to failure. I gotta play it smart. I'm gonna do a diet of three meals a day and two protein shakes. There's no promises in this world, so I have to make a diary on my fitness pal of what I'm eating, journal this. But if I do that, the three meals, two protein shakes, more muscle gain. Five pounds before muscle gain, I could do more than five pounds if I just keep on that diet. So there you have it, I'm kicking back. It's late at night over here, let's see. Yeah, we're going on 920. It was a good day, cleaned up the place, did some work, had some good food. So stay tuned for more about the movie, more about working out. I'm Jordan Ironman. If you enjoyed what you saw, like and subscribe because I need uh, all the help I can get with this upcoming fentanyl flick, getting some awareness out. Scares me just thinking about it. Peace out.